Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' in the world. Booty, 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 rockin' in the world. Alright, so YouTube, y'all already know that I be missing my time as far as for OBGYN, y'all, and it's like, I love to talk about the procedures that you complete and whatnot as far as for OBGYN. I feel like my hair looks better this way. <laughs> but, um, okay, so with this video, is going to talk about the glucose testing. The reason why I decided to talk about this glucose testing, because I do want to bring back some previous videos as far as for phlebotomy. Um, I have had my experience as far as for phlebotomy. I was a phlebotomist at a plasma center for a year, and um, I figured that this would be a good topic to talk about because it ties in with phlebotomy and OBGYN along with medical assisting. So the glucose tolerant test is basically a test where you're going to be drinking an orange um, looking liquid and it's pretty much to help test for uh, diabetes. I'm going to show you guys the color of the <laughs> orange or how it looks. I'm going to still show you guys the bottle that you'll be drinking but it's kind of like an orange color like this. And um, pretty much the medical assistant does play a role into this. Um, to this test so I figured I would talk to you guys about it so just to talk about the glucose test this is basically a routine test a routine test that is performed 24 to 28 weeks to screen for diabetes um, this test does not diagnose diabetes rather is an indication to perform further testing if the initial one hour test is high so pretty much you'll have to drink that fluid and that basically lets us know as far as where if you are diabetic or anything like that the solution I have heard is really really sweet they have a one hour glucose test and they have a three hour glucose test if you you know your test levels isn't right um, main thing that the medical assistant needs to do here as far as for this uh, procedure you have to document the time so always make sure you have a watch or something like that make sure you're watching the time because you have to make sure that you're paying attention to the time make sure that the patient has not eaten anything that's one of the procedures as far as for um, uh, that's one of the requirements as far as for this test so pretty much what the patient is going to be doing you cannot you want to inform the patient that you cannot eat or drink two hours prior to your appointment time this includes water if you do do that it's longer time that you'll have to stay the weight and then you may have to do the three-hour glucose test and some people do not like waiting that long because that's a long period of time without your eating and remember the glucose test is for OBGYN patients so this whole time keep in mind you may be hungry this whole time so it's best to just get the one hour out the way um, you may refrigerate your drink but do not drink it over ice the ice will water down the test resulting in the false results so all the time we always keep bars in the um, refrigerator when I was working at my uh, UF clinic downtown they will always keep those bottles in the refrigerator so it will be freshly cold for the patient so you don't have to worry about that so pretty much you drink the oral glucose test uh, I'm sorry you drink the oral glucose uh, beverage within five minutes and then 30 minutes prior to your appointment time your blood must be drawn exactly one hour after you have completed the drink So what I would like to do was the time that they drank the medicate, like the time that they done drinking the solution, I will jot down the time. The time where I need to draw blood for them, I'll make sure that I jot down the time as well too. Prior to hour after the, you know, drinking that. Um, notify the front desk upon your arrival as the time you finish your drink and do not eat or drink until your blood is drawn. And on here it says, remember, you must drink the entire contest within five minutes. So it takes up the five minutes to drink the whole solution as far as for the orange solution. That's uh, be this color. You have five minutes to drink it. After that five minutes, you have to sit there and wait for an hour. And then after that hour, we go ahead and take your blood. You will have to have a separate appointment for the lab prior to your routine prenatal visit. This is to ensure that your test is drawn at the proper time. Delay in drawing your blood for the glucose test can negatively can affect the results and you will have to repeat the test again so you can have negative results if you do not get your blood drawn some people like to just drink that stuff and just want to be like okay can I go now but no and as far as for the medical assistant job you will be drawing a grade 2 when doing the glucose test remember whenever doing anything glucose that will be a grade 2 I love glucose tests, y'all because one the grade tube is always easy to remember anything done with sweets or glucose it will always be that grade 2 but however it's like you don't have to draw so much blood it's like you're literally only getting one tube so it's like you drink the solution get your blood drawn and you're out of there that's it so as far as for the glucose test if you guys have any questions or anything like that please leave it in the comments below like I said these are one of the duties that you will have to complete as far as for OBGYN medical assistant and um, again this is the glucose glucose test and if you see any question on the NCCT and it asks what tube would you draw what tube will you will the medical assistant take from the patient if they're done drinking the glucose test 
that will be the gray tube. So remember that anything dealing with glucose, it will always be the gray tube. That's the easy way that I can remember it because you got to think about it. It's a lot of colors. The order of draw is constantly change, changing, but anything dealing with glucose, it'll all be, always be that gray tube. So I'm hoping everybody have a good one, y'all. Make sure y'all stay safe throughout this coronavirus times and any new medical assistance, continue on with your journey. And for the fresh medical assistance that's out there in the field right now, make sure y'all stay safe and don't forget to wear y'all mask, y'all. Have a good one. Peace, y'all. Thank you.